as always, again, this, this seem to be silly mistakes, but it's important to use this correctly. So use the outside of your shin uh, of your lower leg to slide across. Don't cut into your upper leg. Don't hack into your foot, but make contact with the outside of your leg and then pull it back so that you can feel where the weapon is going without having to look. The weapon wouldn't be uh, at this position that I'm holding it. So I wouldn't be here. I would be all the way over here. So he would actually not be where he is right now, but he would be standing over here the moment that I strike. So that is, that's the difference. So, so right now I am holding back, my student is holding back, but I would have more distance, more reach in, in this particular technique. So that is also something to bear in mind. And then we, we continue. So again, I'm, I'm chopping, I can step in and also strike with the handle of the saber if, I, if it's even closer still that I don't have space for it or for whatever reason, I don't want to actually chop him down. I actually want, just want to hit him in the face so he gets knocked out or gets knocked back, but I don't want to achieve in the end is from here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And then also make a pulling motion. So this is deflecting. So the saber, the sword goes back and you turn the palm of your hand to the outside. So from here, you pull it horizontal. And as you pull it from here, you do the movement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. So it's, it's from this position, you pull it and you turn the hand over, palm out as you draw the hand horizontal and your left hand goes out here in the with the palm facing away from you as well. So yeah. like this. So from the side angle from here, this is what you do. So this is the defense. Somebody is stabbing at my head. Okay. I'm going to deflect here, deflect backwards, grab him. And then if, if you can, you can stab. But uh, the whole idea is that we're in a situation where, for instance, there's more than one guy, or I want I want to look what's happening around me. Then from here, you, you grab his arm, you come in and you kick behind you, or you can sweep his leg, whatever it is. And then I use him as a shield for anybody who is behind me that way. I'm pulling his arm into me. And then if, yeah. if, no, if nobody is there, I'm going to stab you. So I'm standing here. If nobody's over there, I've got a hole of his arm. I'm going to stab into his face or in his neck here, and then I can get out of there. So it's a very specific application. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you're doing here. This, this drawing, this pulling backwards of the weapon and then the hand. I'll do it this way so you can see it better. So the fourth time, you can go back like this. And going to grass from bird's tail. Typically, what I teach. Second one, you go back, withdraw the foot, step again, and do the same one. Or you go back, withdraw the foot, step in straight forward, and then rotate back and down. So all variations from the side. So I'm coming in here, transfer weight back, and this is this is what you learn first. Once you can do this one, same thing, withdraw the foot, step in again. And last one, withdraw the foot like a stabbing motion and then continue. This is actually a sort of arm lock that you're doing. So I don't have anything that I can actually use. Well, you would you would have his, his arm here and I would twist twist his arm and push. So he is going to end up like this. And then you push him back. 